Good afternoon. I am Vanessa Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online Facebook and YouTube on Iowa TV. In the headlines, rainy weekend expected as another tropical wave approaches. Scrap iron workers stage fiery protests in Caxton Bay promise more to come unless government rescinds export ban. Priest tied up and robbed in San Rafael and internationally Haiti's spike in weapons smuggled into country from the U.S. And now the news in detail. A next tropical wave is expected to reach Trinidad and Tobago by tomorrow. A statement from the Met Office says the country can expect to see some cloudy periods with light to moderate showers and a heavy shower or thunderstorm in some areas from today. The statement says besides this afternoon and evening, TNT can expect fair to partly conditions at times with brief showers in some areas. Scrap iron workers are intensifying their fiery protest as they demand that the government lift a six-month ban on old metal and copper exports. As protests continue in Claxton Bay for a third day in a row, the scrap iron workers who depend on this for a living say they will continue to protest until the government and the opposition listen to them. The scrap iron workers accused the government of being uncaring and wanted the six-month ban removed. They are now threatening to take their protests all the way to Whitehall. Five more COVID-19 deaths have been recorded over the last 24 hours, bringing the total deaths to 4,089. The latest victims were three elderly males and two elderly females. Three patients had multiple pre-existing medical conditions, while two had one each. 251 new positive COVID cases have also been recorded by the Health Ministry. Active cases stand at 7,051. Currently, 230 people are in hospital. A parish priest of San Rafael RC, Father Roger Pamponet, was tied up and robbed of a vehicle and personal valuables at the presbytery yesterday morning. Items from the presbytery were ransacked and also stolen. Father Pamponet is said to be shaken up emotionally but physically okay, according to his secretary. According to reports, around 1 a.m., Father Pamponet was awakened to loud banging on his bedroom door, followed by flashing lights in his face. He was then tied up and robbed. Father Pamponet managed to untie himself after the thieves left and contacted the Lahokata police station. Police investigations are ongoing. The vehicle has since been recovered. Wasa has warned customers in parts of northeast Trinidad served by the North Oropooch Water Treatment Plant that there will be an interruption in their water supply today. Wasa says the disruption will take place between 9 a.m. and 4 p.m. to facilitate emergency cleaning of the raw water intake at the facility. The affected areas are Sangui Grandi Town, Guaico, Tamana Road, Sangui Chiquito and Toko Road, Kamuto, Wallafield, Tumpuna Road, Malaba, Phases 1, 3 and 4, Brazil Village, La Hoketa, Carapo, Omira Road, inclusive of Industrial Estate, Mausica Road, North and South, Maloney Gardens, Five Rivers, Bonaire West, Oropun Gardens, Manzanilla and Environs. Finally, news outside of Trinidad and Tobago, U.S. officials say there has been a surge of high-powered weapons being smuggled from Florida to Haiti. The Caribbean country has been rocked by brutal gang warfare in which hundreds of people have been killed in the past six weeks alone. A U.S. federal agent said the number of weapons illegally shipped to Haiti had risen to unprecedented levels. Haitian police have complained about being outgunned and outnumbered in their fights with gang members. On Saturday, customs officials at a port in the Haitian capital seized containers full of ammunition and weapons. The paperwork for the container said they were destined for the Episcopal Church of Haiti. Meantime, the Episcopal Church has issued a statement saying that it had not been expecting any shipments, but police have since arrested a priest in connection with its investigation. Haiti is not the first violence-wracked country to complain about the flow of illegal weapons from the U.S. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM, and online, Facebook, and YouTube on Iowa TV. 
Recapping the headlines, rainy weekend expected as another tropical wave approaches. Scrub iron workers stage fiery protests in Claxton Bay promise more to come unless government rescinds export ban. Priest tied up and robbed in San Rafael and internationally Haiti spike in weapons smuggled into country from the U.S. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas.